right. Uh, what is the most appropriate initial management for this patient? A uh, 60-year-old woman with history of hypertension, type 2 diabetes, presents to ophthalmologist, complains sudden painless vision loss in her right eye, denies floaters, flashing lights, or eye pain on fundoscopy. Physician notes retinal hemorrhages, dilated and torturous renal, retinal, excuse me, veins, retinal spots in the affected area. Loreskin angiography confirms diagnosis. Um Okay, and they're looking for management. Something is telling me it's the veg F, but I don't like this. Is that like the view? Lizanab or something like that. That's the only thing I'm thinking of. Um, pan retinal photocoagulation. I don't know what that is. Uh, oral corticosteroids. I think this is too severe of an issue because I think what's happening is it's like diabetic um, retinopathy. Um, immediate pars planta. That looks like something you're taking out. Maybe uh, vitreous fluid or. I'm not too okay. sure what that is. And then observation and blood pressure control. I think that's not a bad idea, um, but I think that's more of a long-term. So maybe because you're trying to save the vision. Sure. But again, I don't I don't really know what the VEGF is going to do here. Um, okay. Besides, it, it says like anti, I guess, vascular endothelial growth factor, whatever. Sure. I guess we're just trying to stop or in, yeah, I guess we're just trying to stop occlusion. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I would go for that, but I'm not confident. Okay. So okay. Let, let's kind of work through this here. Kind of, um, I'm not exactly sure of this one either, but patient presentation, okay. sudden pain loss, retinal hemorrhage, dilated tortures, retinal veins, cottonable spots is central vein occlusion. Oh, here. occlusion. Okay. okay. So the occlusion, right? So primary risk factors are hypertension, diabetes, which this makes sense. Has. Um, so you want to un underlying, you know, the blood pressure and then managing the diabetes, but let's talk about the rest, right? So, um, VEGF injection is used to treat complication such as macular edema, but not the initial management of okay. um, CRVO initially pan, uh, pan retinal photocoagulation is usually for proliferative diabetic retinopathy and retinal neovascularization. Okay. The complications of this, but not kind of the acuity. So this is these, okay. these, these treatments seem like they're for you know after the acute management, right? Steroids. What's, what is what is pho photocoagulation? Though? I don't even know what that is. I don't. I think I think they use it. I'm not. Don't quote me on this. They might use okay. like either a special laser or something like that. Okay. They okay. might kind That's of what that yeah. Means. Yeah. Okay. Photocoag and then kind of deal with kind of neovascularization right from the okay. diabetes. Um, but once again, that's very opto heavy, right? Sarah okay. is not really good in this. And then, um, surgical intervention that may be, um, for vetrous, uh, hemorrhage and retinal detachment, but this is not for, um, artery occlusion. So, okay. All right. So yeah, they tend to ask about like veins or arteries with these like diabetic eye problems. That's what I've seen yeah. in questions. So, too. so when so you have, like... you know, uh, they call it like, you know, um, sometimes in like wet macular degeneration or things like that, when you yes. have vascularization, then you can consider some of these things. Right. But this okay. mainly they're trying to say that, you know, sudden his, you know, sudden, um, sudden loss of vision. So you're thinking of that central, um, retinal right artery occlusion right and so you're trying to ask yourself what can i do in the meantime right and all these things are mainly for you know um for neovascularization but in the meantime okay. right you got to control the blood pressure right it's kind of like a i think of it it's kind of like a a, a stroke in a sense for your eyeball right that's what this is okay so it makes sense 